Hello everyone, today we're going to have a look at the AKG C414. AKG is a company that's based in Austria and they've been making a variety of microphones for many many years. So this is a variant of the original AKG uh, 414, but it's been around... Ooh, a very long time. Now the original 414 had a brass capsule and everyone loved the sound of it and a lot of engineers and musicians and artists would uh, tend to lean towards that sound so it had a brass capsule. Now this model is the C414B. Um, it's This one is discontinued. The one that came after this one was the AKG 414, CU414XLS. What's amazing about the AKG microphones is that, um, to start off with, it's a large diaphragm condenser microphone, so you've got a full-sized capsule to capture all the audio goodness. Now, this specific model has five different polar patterns, so you can see in the front, so you've got five polar patterns. Now, these include omnidirectional, wide cardioid, cardioid, hypercardioid, and figure of eight. It also includes a pad for any um, like really loud sound sources, so like snare drums or guitar cabs, and it goes minus six, minus 12, minus 18 decibels, attenuation, and you also get a roll off, so um, you cut the low end uh, at 40, 80, and 160, so you've got a noisy room, um, or you've got people walking around during the recording or a lot of movement and you want to eliminate the rumble, you can filter it out before the signal actually hits your preamp. So that's really handy. Now, the, the newer version of these microphones have um, nine polar patterns you can actually choose. So you've got um, the same, same polar patterns as in this model, but you can actually choose the in-between patterns of each pattern if that makes sense. So you can choose something between a wide cardioid and an omni, or a cardioid and a wide cardioid, so you get something like a wide-ish cardioid, if that makes sense. Uh, and then between your hypercardioid and your figure of eight as well. In terms of price range, this microphone is by no means uh, an affordable or inexpensive microphone. It usually retails between 800 and 1,000 euros, which is on many, many people's kind of top end in terms of budget for microphones. I can see where that money goes towards to. So it's a very, very, very well-built microphone. It's built like a tank. Uh, it's got a lot of options on the front. So you basically get five microphones in one. You can use it in all different varieties. Uh, if you've got two of them, you can do some amazing stereo techniques, um, like bloom lines uh, or mid-sides. It sounds really nice. I, I really like using it in orchestral settings for um, upright basses and cellos because it's a, because it's a large diaphragm. Uh, I get the impression that large diaphragm microphones uh, cope better with the lower frequency, so they can respond a bit better than the small diaphragm microphones. So large for low um, this is the way I go. Ooh. Well, there are a couple of things I'm not a huge fan of. One is um, the shock mount it comes with. Um, well, it's good it comes with a shock mount. I'm happy about that. Um, so you can use it upside down and you can swiggle inside and all those things. But after what after a while, these little um, rubber ropes thingy suspenders, uh, they get loose, they get dry, and they kind of uh, lose their el elasticity. Uh, so you end up having pretty much a useless cradle. Um, that's why I've also um, got myself a Rycott Universal shock mount uh, that you just put your mic in or different types of mics and it just works and I know it's going to work so when that dies because I haven't seen one last more than a few years um, you, you can definitely buy the, the, um, the little suspenders and re resuspend the cradle within the shock mount if you actually want to but now the uh, maybe one downside of this microphone is um, well it's, it's a FET microphone and it's a dual um, capture or dual, dual diaphragm microphone um, what that means is it utilizes two, two capsules, so 
one and then right at the back another one so you've got two diaphragms so with that you can get your figure of eight polar patterns uh, and you can get your different um, cardioids by um, using different filters and using basically um, phase inversion of one of the capsules to create what you perceive as cardioid or hypercardioid and then in the omni setting it's not really a true omni you do get 360 um, capture of sound in the microphone when you have it in omni but what happens is that um, the directionality of the microphone changes depending on the frequency uh, spectrum that you're recording. So some frequencies are more directional than others, and because it's not a true omni, you do get some uh, attenuation of the frequencies. It's not the end of the world, it's not going to change uh, a whole lot. Just something to keep in mind, especially for a microphone that at that price range. I did a recording a few years back and I used uh, two 414s in a mid-side configuration. Now what a mid-side is, you have um, a cardioid and a figure of eight. The cardioid is facing towards your sound source and then right underneath you put the figure of eight um, and you've got the zero point basically facing towards your sound source. Then in post-production, what you do is you duplicate your side channel and then you flip the phase on one of those two channels. And what it does is it gives you a very lovely stereo image, but with a very focused center. Um, so you don't get any holes in your stereo image. So I used to two C414s uh, in a mid-side configuration to record a classical guitar. Let's have a listen to the mix and then let's see what we think. Okay, so um, listening back to the audio sample, uh, to my ears, it's a very natural uh, representation of the sound that was actually captured in the studio that day. Um, I like the the more rugged sound of uh, fingers scratching on the fretboard and you can hear the guitar player's breath in the background. It, it sounds more organic to me. Um, it is a very powerful microphone and it takes EQ really well. I've seen on tons of YouTube videos that a lot of people use it for hip hop vocals or rap vocals. I have not tried it on that sort of genre of music. Uh, I have tried it on classical voices, which um, I got some interesting results. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan, but if that's the only microphone you had, then you would get the job done. Again, it's a very versatile microphone. It handles high SPL, it's really well built. It's got a, a ton of history behind it. Um, but for the price range, there's a lot of competition out there in that 1,000 euro kind of area. So you can look at the uh, TLM 102s, TLM 103s, uh, some Audio Technicas, um, different AKG models, and at that price range, you can also look at the um, DPA um, 
2011, is it? On the 20 2006, which is the kind of more budget-friendly version of the old 4011 on 4006 DPA microphones. I bought this mic secondhand, so I wouldn't pay the full price. Um, didn't have the budget for it. Uh, but I found this at an absolute bargain, so I, I went with it. I, I don't, uh, I'm not disappointed with the result of the microphone. I'm actually really happy I can have this in my collection and use it for different recordings. But I don't think I would have uh, spent the money to buy it new. Then again, I need to consider, and we need to consider, that this is basically five microphones in one. Again, you get all the polar patterns and all the features. I would love actually to get another one to use it as stereo pairs uh, or for stereo techniques. That would be nice. But uh, I highly doubt I'm going to find uh, the exact same model at the price that I found this one to actually say, yeah, okay, I'll pull the trigger. But I do recommend, if you're looking to go one step above in your uh, microphone quality, do have a look at the AKGs. It is a, it's a sweet spot in the price range. Um, there is a lot of competition, but this is one of the, the go-to and good microphones you can actually look at. If you've got a dealer nearby, go have a listen. If a friend of yours has it or a colleague of yours has it, rent it for a few days, play around. It is a super powerful microphone. It comes in a nice little case, um, like a plastic carry case with the cradle and like a foam um, pop windshield pop filter, how you want to call it. Have a listen to it, see what you think. I, I enjoy this microphone. Uh, I'm, I'm happy I found it at the price I did. Uh, let's say that. It's a good quality microphone. It sounds really nice to my ears. Uh, but I think at that price range, you've got quite a bit of competition um, that the AKG needs to look out for. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and I'll hopefully see you next time. All the best.